What up, people? Martina here, back for another episode of your new favorite club. As always, your suggestions have been flying in. Thank you for those. We're reading them, but today, I've been allowed to go wild on genuinely one of my favorite teams in the world, Aris Thessaloniki. <laughs> You know Adis. Well, maybe you don't, but they're probably the club that have brought me the most inspiration since I started working at Copa 90. First up, let's get into some local football and geography. Thessaloniki is a port city on the Aegean coast, the second biggest in Greece. And here, you've got three teams. The oldest club, Iraklis, are currently in the second division, known for the Greek Maradona. Wow, someone should probably do a film on that sometime. Oh wait, they did. Check the link below. While the archive football of Hachipanagis might be pretty pixelated, the similarities to Maradona are eerily similar. Long curly hair, a low centre of gravity, the ball seemingly glued to his left foot. It's easy to see where his nickname is the Greek Maradona came from. They take their name from Heracles, or Hercules, one of the great Greek mythological characters. So far, so Greek. Then you've got Pauk, who you probably know for their European exploits, founded by Greek refugees from Constantinople after the Greco-Turkish War. Although Pauk are probably considered the biggest club in Thessaloniki, they actually only just caught up with Aris' total of three domestic titles last season. Taking it back to the Heracles thing, in Greek mythology, he was often at odds with Aris, the Greek god of war, and yes, the inspiration of the name of your new favorite club. So, you've got a team named after the Greek god of war in a port city in the area of the world which has historically no chill. It's no surprise to learn that they're pretty freaking lively. Founded by 22 friends in a local cafe back in 1914, just after the liberation of Thessaloniki, Aris are better known for their fanatical support than on-pitch success. They haven't won a huge amount over the course of their history, with no league titles since 1946 and one Greek Cup in 1970, but their fans, the Ultras of Super 3, are amongst the most respected in Greece, which is no mean feat. Not surprising when you consider that in 2010, they took 25,000 fans to the Greek Cup final in Athens, which some say is the biggest away following in Greek history. And they completely took over Manchester when they played City in the Europa League in 2011. Just look at this shit. It's the first thing their fans mention when they hear someone speaking with an English accent. We first came across Aris about five years ago when doing a piece on Greece's economic crisis and how it was affecting the country's football clubs. At the time, Aris had found themselves in the third division after financial struggles, which sadly are a staple of the game in that part of the world. Again, so far so Greek. Then, we found something really interesting. An unlikely connection with one of the biggest clubs in world football. Boca Juniors. A legendary Addis fan and Super 3 member known as Cook forged a relationship with the Argentinian Giants while living in Buenos Aires in the 1980s. Despite being a huge Aris supporter, he also developed a soft spot for Boca, and in 2009, he actually managed to bring the two together as Boca Juniors made a rare trip to Europe. Now on the one hand, you've got the influence of a single fan bringing Juan Roman Riquelme and the boys over to your ground, which is pretty cool. But the footage of the pyro show that got put on was one of the craziest things I'd ever seen. So when Boca's reserves came for another friendly a couple years later, I knew I had to be there. And let me tell you, it didn't disappoint. This was one of the maddest atmospheres I have ever witnessed. An absolute wall of noise and color for 90 minutes with the club paying for 10,000 euros worth of flares and smoke bombs just for this match. A friendly against the freaking reserve team from Argentina. When Cook passed away last year, there were huge outpourings of respect and mourning from ultras groups in Greece and further afield with tributes from clubs like Borussia Dortmund and saint Etienne, who Addis share a friendship with. Oh, and finally, we haven't actually mentioned their ground yet, have we? The 24,000 capacity Klientis Fikelidis is named after a legendary player from the 1930s, but more commonly referred to as the Charilao, and I love this place. It's a typically Greek ground embedded in the local community. We've also got to mention the big derby against Pauk, which is incredible, although things got a little bit too heavy in the recent edition. We did a video about when it returned after five years, and if you want, go check it out. And they don't just support the team in football either. You might be familiar with the ridiculous way they kick off their basketball rivalry. I mean, this was the state of me at their U15 women's volleyball derby. Well, I think that's just about it, guys. A really special club with an incredible tradition and a support who have been through tough times, but have always made it out the other side. Let us know in the suggestions who you think we should feature next. But until then, Aris Thessaloniki are your new favorite club.